reference that it was originally thought of. It was it's actually a quote. Well, the way where we actually got it was our roommate Scott uh, was quoting the movie uh, Revenge of the Nerds, and they talk about mopery as in exposing your genitals to a blind person. But I, I went on Wikipedia and looked it up, and the American English uh, version is really interesting. It's what, the definition is wandering uh, in public without any destination, and. Uh, the reason they use it is if, if, let's say a police officer um, already knows that a person has committed a crime and they need to pick them up for some questioning or something, but and they see them in public, but they have no, they're not actually breaking any laws at that moment. They can pick them up for what's called mopery, which is kind of bullshit, basically, meaning we picked him up because he was wandering around in public and it looked like he didn't have anywhere to go. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing they use in court to like give the cops the right to like fuck with people, you know what I mean? Which I think is so appropriate for this place. Both definitions really, I think are pretty appropriate. So yeah, that's that, that's where it comes from. First of all, me personally, I'm a guy who is, has always been involved in live music. Recorded music has never been a big deal for me, but live music has always been something I've always loved to go to see live music ever since I was a little kid. And so the first and foremost thing is we love going to shows and having them in your own house is great, you know what I mean? Because that's it's a much more intimate experience. You actually meet the band members and you end up like being friends with some of them that come through regularly. And so it's like it's kind of like being an extreme fan almost. Like we want to be so close to it that we actually are part of it, you know what I mean? And the other thing is, we are in bands ourselves, and if if you if you're looking for a personal gain from this, we have made countless connections for touring, booking, um, and even people who are you know who can help us set up shows. Well, when we're on the road, we'll make gas money and be able to continue. You know what I mean? So that's the the personal gain side of it. We've made so many connections to live to have the experiences that we want to have. Also, you know what I mean. It's been, I love having a painter around. First of all, none of us have the skills or the work drive, the, the drive to like decorate this place the way Fred has. The place looks amazing, you know. I love his paintings. I mean, they're they're totally psychedelic and kind of childish and lighthearted, but still like have a serious air about them or something, you know. Like it's really good art, you know. And so I don't know. It's been great having a painter here to add a whole different dimension of, of art to this place, you know. And obviously we don't really get in each other's way because he just needs the walls and we just need the space, you know. And still it, it works out well. There's just constantly uh, creative stuff going on. Um, I think it would be cool if there were more, if we had more like discussions or something about art, but I don't really know how to instigate that. I guess I had friends in um, New York who would do that a lot, but they were all writers and they were talking about writing, so um, I really had no idea what they were talking about. And, uh, Although I did also, I mean, I can still relate. What were we talking about? Yeah, so that's... But I guess there is a kind of a discourse going on here anyway. Would you say that, that there is, Mike, what people discussing art? Oh, yeah, yeah. Culture here? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And like a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish there were some windows. That would be nice. The friends that I live with here are so nice that it's just like, man, you know, you don't have enough money, like, until, like, for the next week, like, let me make you some spaghetti, you know, and, like, because we've all been there, you know, all of a sudden you're out of a job and you seriously don't have any money. I, you know, and... 
it, there's never been a moment where it's like, yo, you know, that sucks for you, <laughs> but you know, good luck. Maybe you find another place to live. It's like, dude, you can't, you can't leave, you can't leave this space. You're not leaving us. Like, we got gotcha. you. We'll take care of you. You know, there's been. I think it's happened to at least every original person who's moved in here. Where we're like, hey, you know, I got part of your rent. You know, or I got all of it. Don't worry, just pay me back whenever. And that's a great feeling. Because those are good friends. We're just like lucky participants who found this place. The the place speaks for itself. It's huge. It sounds beautiful. Every band wants to play here because for those reasons, you know. And I feel lucky that we were able to take control of like having free shows and making sure that it was just about supporting the music and not about profiting or anything like that. Because I feel like that was a good extra boost to this place, you know, but it certainly isn't the, the only reason for the popularity, it's really what it is. Um, so I guess the idea here is that um, we, like, we, we, we have free shows because I think it's important that the audience, the audience is more important than making money, like for the experience itself. But we do accept donations, and so we let people throw in however much money they want, you know, whether it's a dollar or five dollars, whatever the fuck. And um, and so at the end of the night, we just uh, count up however much money there is. It, it goes, it only all the money goes directly to bands that are from out of town. We don't pay local bands. We just pay bands that have traveled to come here, mostly to cover their expenses, and so. It's kind of a, you know, when we help them out, and so then next time we're out on the road, usually they help us out, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a symbiotic type of thing. I think that's how, like, like how local music scenes should fit into regional music scenes, you know what I mean? They need to create, like, they need to create places where bands can actually get paid so that the, the regional band, uh, regional scenes can exist because it takes money to move these musicians around the country. And that's really the only way to do it. You have to pay That's, I mean, it's not in our hands. If we get kicked out tomorrow, if we, if people, if there's enough people that decide to move out and we can't afford it, then we have to move out, you know. Um, so ideally, I mean, me personally, I, you know, I could stay here indefinitely. It doesn't matter. You know, I've gotten so used to living here that, you know, and why, why, you know, give us up now, you know, we, you know, it's happening and it'll end eventually. Um.
obviously, you know, we could tell instantly just by the size of it that it was exactly what we needed. And the fact that there's no surrounding residents, it's all businesses. Everything closes down at seven o'clock, so we have from 7 p.m. till 9 a.m. of free-for-all. We can do anything we want.